blow your mind. Not because scientists have managed to figure out how to create or synthesize oxygen from Martian meteorites just using a robotic AI chemist. I mean, not because of that, but because this AI, what they're talking about is not simply uh, a, like a large language model or a chat GPT or all these AGA that people are talking about. It's a very simple neural network, but what makes it really powerful is the system that they have put together. Let's get started with this paper. It's from a bunch of scientists from China. So what is this paper about? This is a paper that says automated synthesis of oxygen producing catalysts from Martian meteorites by robotic AI chemist. Now, whenever you see a paper like this, you would automatically assume, hey, it's, it's always nice that when they have got this theory, they've got this nice looking diagrams and all these things. But what these scientists have gone ahead and did is, they actually developed the robotic arm. So they like literally have the robotic arm that can create or synthesize this oxygen generating catalyst, oxygen producing catalyst simply using Martian meteorite. So, so if you deploy this, like if you de literally deploy this on Mars, this is kind of capable of creating oxygen or creating those catalysts that can create oxygen from Martian soil. I mean, this is like the movie Martian where Matt Diamond managed to create the entire process here is that, so they have included Martian ore pretreatment. There's a catalyst synthesis, characterization, testing, and finally the search for optimal catalyst formula. This is all done without any human intervention. So this is all completely automated. So using a machine learning model derived from both first principles data and also experiment measurements, this method automatically rapidly identifies the optimal catalyst formula for from more than 3 million possible com compositions. The composition is from the Martian uh, soil like Martian resources, Martian ore. So the synthesized catalyst operates at a current density of 10 MACM square. So this is like, you know, it operates at a really bigger space. So that's one thing for over 50, 550,000 seconds, which is almost like, I guess like it's like uh, six days. So if I just say 5,500 seconds divided by uh, 3600, so yeah, it's uh, it's almost like six days, I guess. Um, if, please let me know if I'm wrong. And it has over it with the operation over potential of 445.1 millivolts. So this also shows the milli the over potential here is that the the theoretical level beyond which this has to operate to show the sustainability. So this has gone ahead with this over potential and it has operated for this particular time period and with this density which means one this can run longer second it first of all it has a potential to run second it has run longer and third it it has operated at a much larger space so this demonstrates the feasibility of ai chemist in a completely automated synthesis of chemicals materials from for martian exploration so technically if you deploy this in mars you probably going to get oxygen that's what this paper is saying it goes into a lot of different details. I'm definitely not an expert in Martian soil or anything related to Mars. But the one thing that I wanted to say is everything that in this particular paper talks about one important thing that is oxygen evolution reaction catalyst. It's OER catalyst. So that's the main thing here. So they want to use extraterrestrial Martian meteorite or ores and develop this catalyst from the local material that is available in Mars without any human intervention. That's their North Star. And if you see the kind of steps that they've gone through, so you can see that they've taken the Martian ores, then they, they've got this composition, structure modeling, simulate the activity, then they've got the machine learning, which we'll slightly dive deeper into. And they've got the experiment retraining, the predictive model, the Bayesian optimization. So you can see some from four, five, six, seven, that is the area that we are interested in primarily. And uh, that's, that's the least important part, to be honest, like um, uh, while you can say that this is an AI chemist, this has a lot of other things than just simply having like a neural network model. And finally, you create the best catalyst formula, verify the catalyst, and then you start creating things um, based on whatever you have got. And th these are like the steps that they have used. And if you want to specifically look at the uh, ML part here, the way the step four, is where they start building a neural network model using simulation data. 
and they're going to retrain the neural network model using the robotic experiment data and fine tune the parameters of the neural network model. That's a step six to predict experimental over potential, the over potential kind of like the one that we saw here to predict the experimental over potential with a confidence level of 0 0.95, 95, 95% 95 confidence interval and screen for optimum formula using Bayesian optimization algorithms. Predict the optimal synthetic formula with the lowest OER over potential using available Martian ores. And finally, validate the OER performance of the catalyst prepared with the predicted formula. So that's what has been like, you know, pointed here. So this is quite mind blowing. And um, what they're calling this as like the computational brain or the intelligence. But if you actually go into the neural network in itself, you might be surprised at this point because because everybody has been talking about LLMs, everybody has been talking about AI. The moment somebody says AI, we are going to think about like transformer models, like 5 billion parameter and all these kind of crazy things that we are discussing these days. But what these guys have actually done is uh, you would see that they have built a neural network that is not too um, sophisticated. To be honest, uh, if you see the neural network architecture, so the first neural network architecture. So they've got like a couple of neural network models. The first neural network model, which uses information of metal composition as the input and the DFT calculated. So you can see what is DFT there. Uh, three catalytic properties. You have got these three catalytic properties and um, as output comprises one input layer, two hidden layers and one output layer. That's it. It's a neural network with one input layer two hidden layer and one output layer. Maybe you can call this deep neural network because it has got more than one hidden layer, but this is like literally the neural network they've built. So number of neurons in both the hidden layers is 512 to link computed catalytic properties and experimentally measured over potential. The second neural network model was built with one input layer, three hidden layers involving 128 neurons each and one output layer. And not, I mean, it's not just because they wrote it in the paper, they also managed to open source this. And you can go here and then see, click the pre-train.py and you can literally see this. They have done the normalization after they've done the, like first they have a split, split training and test data cross validation. And uh, they have done uh, normalization. And after that they have got, this is the pre-train.py and they've got this uh, Keras sequential neural network they've built. You've got like, the, this is they have used ReLU activation and this this is all the model that they've built and they've also shared the model with you if you're interested you can go to retrain and then you can again see so you have they've got this 128 128 128 and uh, with ReLU activation and then you have got the final uh, dense layer that is available for you that is all the neural network that they have used and it is so mind-blowing that you know such a simple architecture combined with a domain knowledge that's the most important thing right now what is happening is we have like a experts on one side and we have got like you know domain experts on the completely other side of it but one of the things that we are trying to do in this channel as well like if you're a doctor i'm trying to teach you ai if you're a civil engineer i'm trying to teach you ai and that's exactly what has happened here like when you have material science scientists and when you have like ai scientists coming together and this is the beauty of whatever that could be done and uh, this neural network Model was trained with a back propagation algorithm with a rectified linear unit that is called ReLU activation function and implemented in TensorFlow. So two neural networks were combined to create a predicting model that used the metal composition as the descriptor to estimate the overall real potential. From that, then they used a Bayesian approach, uh, taking the above predicted model as an objective function. And then they used to identify the optimal metal composition with the highest catalyst catalytic activity. And then they did and then they came up with the most optimal one like the formula here, the chart here says, then they came up with the most optimal one and then, then the best formula has been used. But it is truly mind blowing what they have managed to achieve. One, it is simple neural network, it also has to be on device. That's one thing you have to understand because you know, you're not going to send a GPU. I mean, you can probably send a GPU and uh, you've got certain GPUs that are already available that could be embedded on a chip. but this is like not like you didn't like a really big GPU to run transformer models. That's one thing. Second thing is they have also built this robotic transformer. So robotic um, AI chemist. So you can see different stages of this, like how this robotic arm 
manages to do everything by itself it takes all the things it uh, it tries to create it it tries to build it tries to test it it tries to have that catalyst ready at the end and uh, you know this is like the rover kind of thing and um, it manages to do everything and uh, all the details are available in this nature paper that got recently accepted um maybe i didn't do enough justice to show how mind blowing this paper is i would strongly encourage you to go through this especially if you are interested in material science definitely check it out but um, even otherwise this is truly mind blowing what they've managed to achieve it here not that you know i want to go settle in mars but um, yeah uh, having a simple ai core that can actually expand into a good domain knowledge and build something that is truly sophisticated and mind blowing that is what this paper is about automated synthesis of oxygen producing catalyst from martian meteorites by robotic ai chemist hope this was helpful to you see you in another video happy prompting